hybrid power in its most advanced form is served up by Lexus's LS600H Luxury Saloon, a car that brings future technology to current day boardroom buyers. It seems as if almost everything the motor industry knows can be found somewhere in its silky, almost flawless approach to wafting its passengers in the manner to which they'll quickly become accustomed. Back in 1989, the Lexus LS redefined what a luxury saloon should be. It was as simple as that. It seems rather ridiculous now to remember that back then the European makers who ruled the market defined luxury as being as much about wood and leather as it was about ride and refinement. Thanks to this Japanese brand, cars of this kind were finally transformed from boardroom barges to the technological showcases that buyers had a right to expect from their inflated price tags. By the time that this third generation LS was launched in 2006 though, the opposition had finally caught up. With another seismic step forward needed, this LS600H hybrid provided it. With such an impressive blend of power, efficiency and refined luxury that it's now the only version on offer. Detail improvements since have had added to uh, the sense of style and identity that is really befitting for the most technologically advanced car in the world. This then is a model that has finally allowed the Japanese company to stamp its identity on the luxury car market. Take a seat comfortably behind the wheel and from the moment the mists clear to gracefully reveal an image of your LS on the improved LCD virtual dashboard, you know this is gonna be a special driving experience. Press the starter button, and like all hybrids, you're greeted by the sound of silence. Nothing as yet from the 388 brake horsepower five liter V8 engine, just the almost imperceptible sound of the 221 brake horsepower electric motor. Uh, part of what must surely be the most seamlessly integrated hybrid drivetrain yet created. Of course, with over two tons of luxury limousine to shift, the electric motor soon needs assistance. But the shift in power is pretty seamless, part of a thrust of acceleration that arrives in one smooth linear surge, courtesy of a combined 439 brake horsepower output. Drive as if you've stolen the thing, and 60 from rest flashes by in just over six seconds as the eight speed automatic gently slurs you on towards an artificially limited maximum speed of 155 miles an hour. Just as well that the improved Brembo brakes offer a 12.5% improvement in stopping power. Unlike previous generation LS models, you can enjoy the experience of speed around twisties too, despite uh, suggestions to the contrary from the initially rather lifeless electric power steering. Even in this long wheelbase version, body roll is well controlled, and the air suspension, as long as you keep it off the sports setting, will, in comfort and normal modes, make the average British B-road feel like an Arizona highway. Plus, it's all done in whisper quietness, a fact that credits the engine as much as it does the double glazed windows. Apparently, there's a, there's a guy in the factory who tests every one with a stethoscope to make sure that it produces the right tone. Enough said. If there's a more tech-laden car in production, then I don't think I've driven it. Every dynamic and electronic feature of the car feeds into a central brain, the Vehicle Dynamics Integrated Management VDIM system, which ensures that all features work together in total harmony. Here's the vision of the future, a car with the capacity to steer for itself, park itself, brake for itself, and minimize the effects of an accident, no matter how ham-fisted its driver. It can even watch you as you drive. Lexus have developed a, a little camera that sits on top of the steering column and builds up uh, an, an image of your face, so that if you happen to be dozing off or maybe glancing out of the window when danger presents itself, it can beep at you, flash lights, or even gently apply the brakes until attention is restored. It all sounds rather Orwellian, in reality, it's simply a stepping stone towards the kind of car that the motor industry has been able to produce for years, but has been afraid to make. One that effectively drives itself. 
This is the kind of thing we expect from a 21st century £90,000 luxury saloon. I mean, anyone can put a big engine and comfy seats in a large body, but a car like this really should be showcasing the kind of technology that the proletariat will be using in 10 years' time. Take the cameras that regularly scan your back end in this car um, so that uh, if you're about to have a rear end shunt, the headrests will move forward and upwards to minimize whiplash. Or the brake hold system that will automatically engage the electronic parking brake if you're in heavy stop start traffic so you don't have to keep hovering your foot over the pedal. Or even the in car body temperature sensor that constantly scans your, your body temperature and adjusts the climate control accordingly. It's all pretty jaw dropping. It's taken three generations and nearly a quarter of a century of development for Lexus to bring us an LS that has what its German rivals boasted all along, its own visual identity. This revised version goes a step further with minor detail improvements that include turn indicators built into the mirrors, uh, revised bumpers and a restyled front grille with signature LED side lights. The L Finesse design language that has served the brand's smaller IS and GS models so well is slippery with a 0.26 CD factor, yet incisive with paper thin panel gaps. This could only be a Lexus. So let's take a seat behind the wheel. On cars like this, it's becoming increasingly familiar to find an electrically adjustable steering column that moves out of the way and uh, slides towards you when you're trying to get in and out of the car. But in this model, uh, that's combined with an electric seat mechanism that slides backwards and forwards 50 millimeters to facilitate entry and exit and just make the whole thing feel a lot more snug once you're behind the wheel. Neat. Now, the instrumentation display feels a lot more up to the minute these days, thanks to the use of a uh, high-tech TFT LCD screen in front of you. Now, unlike conventional dials, this virtual screen enables you to basically customize your own instrumentation display. So that, for example, in the center of the Speedo, you can decide whether you want to view vehicle information, turn-by-turn -turn navigation instructions, or even the workings of the hybrid system. This long wheelbase body style is the one chosen by most LS customers and all 120 millimeters of its extra length has gone into additional legroom for rear seat passengers who will especially enjoy themselves if the owner has opted for the expensive but desirable rear seat relaxation package. This premium seat arrangement can be now specified in five as well as four seat models uh, offering additional uh, reclining massaging and climate control functions in a cockpit that feels all rather like mission control with all these lights and buttons. As for boot space, well even at just over five meters in length the hybrid system's bulky battery pack means that you don't get much. 370 litres in the standard wheelbase model and just 330 litres with this long wheelbase variant. That's less than a little BMW 3 Series. But will boardroom buyers really care? This, after all, is luxury in its purest form. Buy a leather-lined MPV if you want space. Restricting LS ownership to this LS600H hybrid model has made the brand's flagship an even more exclusive purchase, uh, with prices starting at around the £90,000 mark. Go for the long wheelbase version that we've got here and you're looking at a premium of around £9,000 for the rear seat relaxation package, for which you'll probably need a chauffeur as well. And rivals? Well, it's hard to think of any direct ones. Boardroom buyers who don't want a diesel and like the idea of combining petrol power and refinement with an eco statement have no other real alternatives. Whether you choose short or long wheelbase LS600H models, the equipment list, of course, is vast. Things like voice-activated satellite navigation and a rear parking camera are, of course, standard. But bear in mind that some of the other functions I've mentioned may well be on the options list. Get your dealer to talk you through it all before you decide and put plenty of time aside. You'll need it. Recent enhancements to the standard kit list include these clever high-beam headlamps that automatically dip on their own at night. 
you also get uh, uh, an enhanced 40 gigabyte HDD satellite navigation system that's able to assist the 19 speaker Mark Levinson premium surround stereo in transferring and storing up to 10 gigabytes of music files that enables you to create your own sound library with up to 2000 music tracks. Recent safety additions include inflator operated active head restraints, which in an impact thrust forwards and upwards, reducing the likelihood of whiplash injury. Perhaps the best part of owning a Lexus is that you can be almost certain that nothing will go wrong, even if such a thing ever happened. So efficient and pleasant are the dealers that you'll be almost glad that it did. Combined cycle fuel economy hovers at around the 30 miles to the gallon mark. That's about five or six miles to the gallon better than the kind of powerful luxury petrol powered saloon that you'd need to match this model's performance. But about five to 10 miles to the gallon worse than say a Mercedes S-Class or a BMW 7 Series diesel. Um, it's much the same with CO2. This LS600H achieves 219 grams per kilometre. Insurance is a top of the shop group 50 on the 1 to 50 grouping scale and residuals are about par for the class thanks to the fact that just 5,000 LS models are annually produced for worldwide sale. Should you, or more likely your company, be in the fortunate position of being able to spend close to six figures on a luxury saloon, then the prospect of being able to do so with at least a sheen of social responsibility is tempting. And that's exactly the proposition served up by this LS600H. Not everyone agrees that hybrid power is the best way of achieving this, but it's certainly a tech-heavy solution that suits the futuristic approach championed by this car. Whether that makes it the world's best is something I'll leave for others to argue about. What's important is that nearly a quarter of a century after its predecessor first appeared, this LS is still setting standards that others are struggling to follow. If the business career that enables you to buy a car like this marks you out in the same way, then you owe it to yourself to try one.